What's up guys, Glock9 here playing some 7 Days to Die and I wanted to bring you this video to show you a quick, simple, easy way to crack a safe in the early game. You don't need anything special, only a stone axe. I mean the one I'm using is, uh, you know, purple or whatever because I grabbed it with the cheat mode, but it doesn't matter. Um, because we're not going to actually touch the safe. Let me show you where I am. I'm uh, in this second house from the top left in Dyersville, and there's a safe upstairs in the attic, and that's how it has to be. The safe should be on the second floor. It would work on the first floor, but like, let's say the safe in the farm, it has a concrete floor. So that doesn't make any sense because the concrete has 3,000 hit points, whereas this, sitting on wood, all we, all we need to do is bust out the frame underneath the safe. Not just that though, because watch, as you'll see, breaking out this frame doesn't drop the safe because it's held on by the wall blocks. And now I can't get to that block right behind the safe, you know, because I hit the safe. So I gotta knock this block out here, but then I can get to the one behind it and the one below the one I'm breaking out now. So that's a total of four wood blocks and the safe will drop. So instead of having to sit here with a stone axe breaking into a safe for hours, you can just take these four blocks out and the safe drops. Breaks open and you're left with a backpack with the safe goods and a little bit of iron that you can grab. Open the backpack and there you go. Look, hunting rifle, some ammo. This is everything that was inside the safe. And you can just pick it up and be on your merry way. Now, um... I do have the fly mode on, and I do have I had the cheat mode on just so I can grab some uh, some materials and stuff like that. But this is survival, so uh, it's not creative or anything like that. So that will work. Um, one thing else we're gonna try is to see if that same method works with wall safes. So I know there's one over in the hospital. So let's get over there and try it with a wall safe. All right, there's the safe in there which it's about, uh, what, three blocks from the door, right? Yeah, one, two, three. And uh, there it is. So we don't even have to, I don't think we even have to go in through the door. We could just, uh, one, two, wait, one, two, three. So, yeah, just the corner block right here. It's actually the block behind the painting, but I'm, I'm sure we're going to have to remove the blocks on either side of the... Uh, of the wall safe anyway, so we might as well knock that one out. This should be the block containing the wall safe, and it is. All right, so obviously I didn't think it was going to fall from there, but uh, definitely going to have to knock out the block below it. All right, that didn't fall. So uh, let me just drink some water here and get some stamina up. I should just I should have just grabbed some coffee, but whatever. All right, let's uh, knock this block out. All right, it hasn't fallen yet. Maybe the top block? That's probably holding on to it. No, it's still floating there. What the hell? Could it possibly be this? This block right here? What about this one? <laughs> I don't think it will just remain floating if we remove all the blocks around it. Oh, there it goes. And it broke up and it left the backpack behind with the contents of the safe. There you go. It works with wall safes also. However, we did have to remove quite a few more blocks uh, with with the wall safe than we did with the safe that was on the second floor of the farmhouse. So, And also keep in mind, some wall safes are in concrete walls. So if it's in a concrete wall with 3,000 hit points, you might as well just break right into the safe. So this method really works best with gun safes that are on the second floor of a, of, a, of a building that has a wood floor, like all of these farm buildings right here, because I'm pretty sure there's more than one. And I just rammed myself into the floor there, just so you can see that I am in survival mode, because you can't hurt yourself in creative mode, and that this works. This is PC um, Alpha 16.4. I know Alpha 17 is dropping very soon, but I don't see why things would change. It's just physics, and I'm pretty sure this would work on console. I don't see why it wouldn't. So uh, I hope this helps you out in your endeavors. It definitely will help me out. As a matter of fact, I thought of this because I just finished recording Zombieland Day 4. I came across a safe in the game that is on the second floor of a, of a, of a house. And after I was done recording, I was like, oh shit, I wonder if I knocked the floor out if this would work. And it did work. So you'll see me come across the safe in Day 4, which that video will be out tomorrow. 
But in day five, we're going to go back and crack into the safe using this method. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and all of your support. I really appreciate it. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. I'll catch you guys in the next video.